Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to FOIL. Now FOIL is actually an acronym. It's The letters all represent an actual word. The F stands for first, the O stands for outside, I stands for inside, and L stands for last. So when you see the word FOIL, think first, outside, inside, last. What that means is if you have some stuff in brackets, first, you work with the outside, which would be whatever number or letter is in here, and you multiply it by whatever the first thing is in that set of brackets, and whatever the second thing is in that set of brackets. The inside is what you do last, so this would be whatever number or letter is here would be the inside, and you do the same thing. You multiply it by everything in the other set of brackets. Let's do an example. Let's do x plus 2 and x plus 3. So first outside, I'll go x times x to be x squared. x times 3 would be positive 3x. 2 times x would be 2x. And positive 2 times positive 3 would be positive 6. Now you need to collect like terms. I only have one that has x squared in it, but 3x and 2x, they both just have x to the power of 1, so I can simplify those. 3 of something plus 2 more of the same thing would just be 5 of the same thing plus 6. And that would be your final answer. Sometimes you'll do questions where you'll have more than two sets of brackets. Let's add on x plus 4. Now what I would suggest is you do work with just two two brackets at a time. So this one here and this one. Figure out what that is, which we found down here, and then worry about foiling with the third thing in brackets. So I've got three terms in this set of brackets, but it's okay. I'll start with this one. I'll multiply it by the x. x squared times x would be x cubed. x squared times 4 be 4x. And then I'll do the middle term. 5x times x would be 5x squared. 5x times 4 would be 20x. And then 6 times x would be 6x. And 6 times 4 would be 24. Now, I think all I can see is one of these little numbers that has x cubed in it, so I can't really simplify that. I've got 4x plus 20x plus 6x. Well, 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 20 would be 30x. So I've used all those. And I like to cross them off as I go, just so I make sure that I'm not missing anything and I'm not including anything twice. I've got 5x squared, and I've got 24. Now, the highest exponent I have is 3, and you always want your highest exponent to come first. And then after it, you should have your next highest exponent. Well, I don't have that. I have my x to the power of 2 after my 30x. So I'm just going to change the order, and I'll write my exponents from greatest to least. And that will be my answer. x cubed plus 5x squared plus 30x plus 24.